Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video. I wasn't too sure if I was going to record this, but you know what? It's looking pretty good, so <laughs> I am just so happy to have this right here. Um, i kind of been in a uh, slump for the past few days, just haven't been able to come up with something original. And while I'm certainly not the only artist out there to, uh, you know, draw and paint, a little chunky cat and some chunky pumpkins uh, this is definitely my style and um, just want to make sure I put that out there that this is my own idea and this is my own drawing so yay inspired by me <laughs> I'm using a combination of Renaissance Polska's gold ochre and a little bit of Jody's handmade watercolor in goldenrod for the background everything is just getting covered in these colors including Señor Gato <laughs> I just might name him that <laughs> Señor Gato um, yeah so there'll be a nice underwash of color and while everything is still wet onto wet I'll go ahead and grab some of the uh, cadmium orange from Renaissance Polska, but this is the half pan version along with some of the yellow. I believe it's also cadmium yellow as well. Just grabbing a bit more the orange. This is what it looks like. And that is on top of whatever was there before, you know, the ochre and the, the golden rod. And I'm just going to begin to drop in a color here. Doing all the hard work. So all I have to do later on is paint Señor Gato in la calabaza, in the pumpkin. We'll see how these colors dry. I don't mind that they, you know, spread out all over the place because there is some green, you know, with the leaves. I'm going to use some sap green from Renaissance Polska as well. I have some of their half pans and over 40 colors from their 15 ml tube colors. And this is from the uh, 15 ml tube color selection. So I'm just gonna drop some of that in there and take advantage of that. Again, wet on to wet or wet on to damp. I love seeing the colors wick out, so it's all good. He is just so darn cute. <laughs> this is the second time I've done some kitty art. Last week, this took me a whole week to do. The drawing, the concept, everything. Just cats and pumpkins. I guess that's just what it is for me <laughs> right now. So I'm <laughs> pretty happy about it. Feeling pretty good. Again, just the sap green here. And anything that doesn't dry up softly here, I'll just come in and tap around. And then I can come in later on with a much more deeper, richer green. Forgot to add the orange mixture here to his pumpkin. All right, that is looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna be even braver. And add just a bit of vermilion. The vermilion is from Paul Rubens. Um, let's see, 
and I just flip him around and I add that right here. Right here. Just mixed some more with the golden ochre. This should dry back fairly, fairly light because I have that underwash hanging out underneath. Just continuing to tap in color. Okay, I think, I think I'm good here. Uh, as I say, I reach for some more. Bit of a heavier concentration of the sap green there. I like that there are some areas that did not get color. I left that like that on purpose. And since I'm using Jody's colors, at least the goldenrod, and they're working so well with my other colors, I think I'm going to take out her color her green color. It's called deep sea or no, that's a blue. Sea green? One of those. <laughs> I'm going to take that out. I think I'm going to use that for the leaves. All right, so I'm going to finish doodling this up here. Everything's getting coated. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so before I do get my heating tool, I do want there to be more of a gold ochre present in El Gato. So I'm going to add a bit more of that. Especially right here. These are his front, you know, his front legs. So, there we go. All right. Okay, you guys, so he's all set to go. I went ahead and uh, mixed the Rosa Gallery color called Black Grape. That has a PV something in there. Uh, I'm not quite sure 100%, but um, it has a PV something. So, what I did to bring some of that out uh, is I added some of the orange let me just double check here okay yep so it has a PBK I'm trying to PBK 7 PV 19 and PV 3 that's the black grape color right there and then what I added from these are the gallery colors I have then from the 24 uh, studio set I mixed just the PO 13 color so that PV3 and PV19 is going to be, it's going to mix well with that. Just because I want there to be like a slight tint of orange under him, I hope that makes sense. I didn't mean to go off on a random tangent here <laughs> about the colors, but that's what it is. So let's go ahead and begin. And I'm going to go right into this with wet on it to dry and then dark to light which I know in watercolor is a big no-no <laughs> but I'm I'm hoping this will turn out to be good Need to get my brush a bit more wet here see as I pull out the color you can see nice dark black grape with that orangey PB19 undertone. I thought that would be nice to see. And I'll just lighten things up as I move upwards. What I will do is press pause 
when I begin to paint in the leaves just to save time because I know you guys are not going to want to sit here and watch me paint a whole bunch of leaves the same way. I'll paint a few and then I'll press pause and you know all that good stuff. So just continuing to gently blend in the color. I don't mind that this whole area gets full of this color. It's all good. Maybe we should call him Senor Chunk or Senor Calabaza. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin. <laughs> I think that's good. Even the insides of his ears are getting covered with the color. But this is what on to wet right now, so this is a good time to add a little bit of the PB19 on its own. So let me grab some of that. Um, I think it's the Quinacridone Magenta. I'm not sure. But that with a little bit of that P013 color. Yep, right here. Just gonna just drop that in really gently in there and then use my second brush to blend things around. This is, after all, a Halloween-inspired cat, right? So, it's all good. kind of reglazing the area. And then I can come in here and do the same thing. Just making sure you guys can see. I'm not lighting it up, I'm just refocusing it right there in the middle of the screen. There is not one fluffy cloud in the sky, so, so far so good. All right, let's grab some of that color. I hope that turns out to be okay. These Rosa Gallery colors are just insanely smooth. They love to mix and blend everywhere. They love water too. This area up here would naturally be the darkest as it's kind of folding over. Just to add color to that. I think I'm also inspired by black cats because this month my two brothers that I've adopted come home. So I will be having two little voids in my house and I'm so excited about that. I have not been a cat mama for years, <laughs> and um, I think it's time for my son to have a set of wonderful companions, and I can certainly benefit from that too. My mental health and my recovery, my sobriety, all of it, it's good stuff for, my, for all that stuff. Looks like I painted out of line there, but the best part about this is that 
Senor Calabaza. I'm just going to name him that. <laughs> he is, uh, I can just, you know, add in some extra line work with my, with my pen. Let's go ahead and just smooth things out. I'll come back to this area and reglaze a bit in a bit. That's the good thing about working on 100% cotton watercolor paper. All right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, let's begin to work on bringing in some darker. Ooh, one second, please. All right, you guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clean brush and just gently go over this area here. It brings out some of the kitty color in it to the pumpkin, and I'm okay with that. This is a technique I do often. I just kind of smooth out. where two colors meet. I don't know if it's the right way to do it or the wrong way, but it's just something I like to do to just, I don't know, make it look a bit smoother. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to begin to add the darker pumpkin color here dipping the tip of my brush into the water and just I'm not going to go too crazy as far as see all of this can be nice and soft and yep yeah, look at that that's perfect I'm not going to go crazy with you know painting every single detail of every single rib line that I drew in with the pen I'm slowly learning that with pen work, the more you do ahead of time before you paint, the better. I'll leave that area right there to be a bit light. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna grab some of that beautiful golden eye, golden, golden eye, <laughs> golden rod, oh my Lord. just gently glaze everything with it. You can see it just makes everything pop. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm still a bit hesitant too, as far as, you know, going in with lots of uh, details with the line work, you know, the pen work. But I'm slowly trying to to incorporate more details. All right, so what I'm gonna do to save time, because it is getting close to my son coming home from school, and I usually do record, you know, most of my videos with some type of ruckus in the background. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful for those of you who have told me, it's all good, Laura, don't worry about it. Um, so you might hear, you know, some noise in the background if I decide to press stop and come back to this. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of the sepia. This is another beautiful color from that Rosa Studio set. And I'm gonna drop that in right here, wet onto wet, and then just move it up. And then I'll come back to that. So to save time, now I can, and what I'll do is also, I'm all over the place, aren't I? Woohoo! <laughs> um, I just don't want this to go into 45, 40 minutes. I mean, a half hour is all good, maybe 35 minutes, but eh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint a few leaves here. I know I mentioned I wanted to use Jody's sea green color. 
a little bit of this color goes a long way. I just want you guys to see how beautiful it is. It is like, I think it's more better than the Daniel Smith Undersea Green. Ooh, that is very controversial. <laughs> That's all right, though. Maybe after seeing it here, you'll agree with me. And I think it'll help if I have another brush just to gently pull out that color. This is why I think just me painting a few leaves and having you guys watch would be a good idea. And then I can do the rest on my own because it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. I've seen other artists do that and I'm very appreciative of that. I'm very appreciative of their time too, so you know. As long as I get to see like the meat and potatoes of the video, I love paint with me videos, real time paint with me videos. I just, those are my favorite to watch. Um, but as long as I get to watch, you know, like the, the meat and potatoes of the video, then I'm good with certain areas of the video being fast forwarded, you know, edited, anything like that. I still haven't gotten the idea of uh, doing that with my videos. I tried to do that before with my adult coloring book videos and even though I used appropriate music from the library and did all the attributions or did everything I had to do, um, I still got a copyright strike so I don't want to risk that even though my channel is not monetized or not, you know, this is just for hobby. Um, I don't want to get in trouble, basically. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get in trouble. So, you guys can see I painted three leaves here. And after this, I will press stop. So, the video will just start with another one. And you probably will hear some noise in the background. Yeah, because it's getting close to that time. But that is the color I've chosen and I'll most likely go in and add some more of that golden red. So you'll do that now so you guys can see while this is still wet. It just gives a little something extra. Looks a little patchy at first, but I've learned that being patient, you know, with my work and seeing it through yeah it'll work out all right guys i will be back in a bit for, but for you guys if i can talk right for you guys it'll be just like that i'll see you soon hey everyone thank you so much for stopping by again i'm back and uh yeah i'm ready to finish up senor calabazas mr pumpkin here that is his name as you can see, I went ahead and did quite a bit of work offline just to make it easier for you guys to view the video. Just a lot of repetitive stuff that I already had shown you in real time. So, you know, this isn't a tutorial, but I did want to share as much as possible in real time. And this is Burnt Sienna with a little bit of Burnt Umber, both from Renaissance Polska. And I'm just adding that color on the side of the ribs here just to make each section pop out a bit more. See, like right over here. I regret not making this pumpkin as shapely as the other ones, but that's okay. That is okay. My son is home from school, so you might hear him in the background, but right now he's just kind of hanging out. In the living room a little bit of a rough ride home so he's just chill right now so dinner's almost done and yeah um let's see how is this looking you can see i cleaned up a uh, pumpkin here quite a bit i just went ahead and used my my brush to go around all the edges you know and uh, clean him up just to make things a bit smoother it's just a look i enjoy it's not something you have to do and i'm thinking i can add just a couple of 
leaves. Yes, leaves. <laughs> I just I just think maybe some around here. So you know what? Let me draw them in really quickly with the pencil first before I throw everything down the drain. And just a few little clusters of leaves to further, you know, stylize the piece. Have a few right there. And then come over here. And basically use the line work of the pumpkin to my advantage and just shape. Ooh, hand shook there. The leaf around it. Maybe we just need one right there. One right here, and one right there. Let's go ahead and paint those in really quickly just to see how they look. And I can always add one more. I can't take away, I can add though. And just look at this beautiful sea green color. That's just the separation on the blending dish. I've done nothing to, to it, I have, hadn't added anything to it. It's just wonderful. Oh, and before I do, let me, how about I actually draw them in? <laughs> that would be a good idea. I guess I'm just all over the place. Make sure you guys are on autofocus lock. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and paint those in. I can use up whatever I have left. And after that, we should be good. Oh, let me erase. Okay, I press the stop. Not the stop, excuse me, the pause button because I didn't want it to be all shaky. So whatever I have left over on my blending dish is what I'm going to use so isn't that just a precious green color it is just gorgeous gorgeous and it does granulate oh my goodness look at that woohoo that is pure pigment right there hold on a second <laughs> hold up wait a minute Does it? And this one here should be fairly simple. Beautiful, beautiful shapely leaves with shapely pumpkins and a cute little Halloween cat. I think that looks pretty good. I love that I added those little antenna looking leaves right there. And guess what? <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. I still have some some green paint to use, so nothing's going to waste here. I almost 
almost feel like I should draw. There we go. Boy, oh boy. Once you get into it, you can't stop. Gotta be careful though. Sometimes too much doesn't look good either. I certainly hope that is not the case here. I'm hoping this looks pretty good. I'll just clean it up right here. Just going around. Yeah, see, very easy. Just kind of erase those extra little bits of paint and let it come peeking out. And just looking at everything as a whole, you know, um, I did mention I wanted to add some blush or something, didn't I? All right, let's hope I don't regret it and then we should be done. So I am looking at that Quinacridone magenta-ish color right here. Oh my goodness, so cute. I experienced this the other day with the ghosty drawing. barely there but you guys know it's there and um he's adorable he's absolutely adorable let me go ahead and uh, peel back the tape from behind and we can do the peel reveal okay so i had a fight with the tape <laughs> so this is about as good as it's gonna get again this is a dollar tree brand masking tape the blue tape underneath is the painter's tape. What a mess, huh? But you gotta admit, that's a really pretty border. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that beautiful pumpkin color and green with each other on this paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is perfect. He's so cute. <laughs> he is so cute. His name is definitely Galawasas Pumpkin. He is definitely a cute little pumpkin cat. I'm glad I added the extra leaves down here. It brought in a little something, something there. And um, I'm thinking this is it. Yeah, this is great. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, even though it was a bit long um, and it wasn't necessarily in real time, you know, like 100%, um, you know, step by step, but, but we got this, right? We got this and I'm so excited. If you wanna go ahead and copy him and give it a try, Give me credit i'd appreciate it and let me know tag me tag me let me see what you got <laughs> let me see how you work little pumpkin here and um all right i'll let you guys go i mean look at this this is just hello i would love to make art prints of my work one day we'll see we'll see and you know what this is a type of video i love to share i love to share real-time uh watercolor art and um, I know I don't have all the latest and greatest to share with you, but what I do have is the love of art, this right here. This is just so wonderful for me. You know, it keeps me, it keeps me whole. It keeps me happy. So, all right, enough, enough blabbering. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for seeing this through, even though uh, some parts I feel like I babbled on like I'm doing now, but uh, okay. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I gotta go take some pictures outside. Bye-bye.